What is up, Lee the Resale Slugger? Let's go for a walk. Come on, come with me. It is a beautiful day here in Loveland, Colorado. I'm digging it. So a little uh, history on where I'm from. I grew up in Orange, Connecticut. For about 10 years. Moved to Arlington, Vermont. I grew up most of my life in Arlington, Vermont, the cheese and maple syrup state. Next, I went to college, New London, New Hampshire, in a school called Colby Sawyer. I played some baseball there and I also uh, majored in sports management. All right, so after I graduated, uh, from Colby Sawyer, I moved out to Boise, Idaho. The Potato State. Stayed there for a few years. Then I went out to Worcester, Massachusetts. And worked in Dick's Sporting Goods. Good old Dick's Sporting Goods. <laughs> now that was a time to remember. Dick's Sporting Goods. I decided, you know, I really wanted to work in a, a more, more of my line of work and decided to work in Major League Baseball in Secaucus, New Jersey. So I moved to a place called Wanakew, New Jersey. Then came Orlando, Florida, where I really picked up reselling for the first time as a full-time gig. After writing everything down on what I made versus what I spent, and I calculated how, how profitable it could be there, just starting out, I, I realized I can do this. As long as you stay consistent with your listing and you get as much stuff as you can and you just go as hard as you can, and it can be done. I started off in Secaucus, New Jersey when Major League Baseball had their, their off season in the winter. I started reselling. Trying to make that extra money, you know, stressing out about bills, stressing out about how to make ends meet. And after I realized that I could make just as much money reselling than I could working there and learned as much as I could, as fast as I could, that I could actually make the same amount of money working full time. To Hickson, Tennessee, which is just north of Chattanooga. I lived there for about three or four years. I struggled with reselling there because the quality wasn't as good. The knowledge and the determination is still there. The fight to resell is still there. It's when you go through these tough times where you realize what you really want in life. And I could do it, you know, I can get it done, you know? It was pretty satisfying to realize that you can actually do this to live. So if I can do it, you can do it. And that's all you need to know, all right? Today I'm going garage sailing. I'm gonna hit, since I'm new to the area, I'm gonna hit every single place that I possibly can to learn what areas are good, what areas are bad. And we're just gonna figure it out along the way. So let's do it. Let's go. back from our garage sale and I'm going to show you what I got right here we have some boots by lacrosse I love these boots they're very durable they're size 12 I might keep nah I'm not so they're worth about 45 50 dollars here we have a tailor-made burner three wood golf club Ooh, so shiny 
cool designs. Good shape. See, the head isn't worn, so that means someone would want to buy this. I'm saying $35, $40 on the golf club. And I will put the sock back on the head. Because why would you ever want to scratch it? You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Alright, I gotta do a happy Gilmore dance. I can't help my schmelf. Sorry. My bad. Why did I do that? Here we have some waders. Now, I'm looking at waders. You want to get the big suckers. The ones that go all the way up your leg. Just like that. Those are size 12. They're probably from the same guy who donated the boots. The lacrosse boots, that is. Here we got the LT429 Speed Roller Skates. They're size 5. They are very high quality skates. Now, when you look up the comps on these, they go anywhere between 60 to like 150. So, you know, it's probably dependent on the size, probably dependent on the submodel. I thought there was more into those, but I should, I should feel that $50 is probably a good mark for those. I got these for a dollar for both. You always want to make sure that the joysticks work so you flick them and make sure they click and clack and all that good stuff. Probably get 15 a piece on those. Clean them out, clean them up a little bit. They're dusty. Got all these for a dollar each. They're all brand new. You can't say no to brand new DS games in the package. I think the Plants vs. Zombies one is probably the best one out of the three there. Uh, I'll have to check Amazon, eBay comps, but I think probably around $15 to $10 each on those. Here we got some cream. Who doesn't like putting on some facial cream? Now those two little ones are testers. And this guy right here is a, you know, a big anti-aging cream. I would say $10 each on the small ones and probably 20 on the big one. So that's not a bad little score. Here we got me a Nike basketball kind of like a travel bag. I guess you can put your phone and your keys and your wallet in it, maybe some shoes. Put it on my back so you can see what it looks like. I'm not sure how I became a hillbilly and I dance around a lot, but put that back in the back straight Oh, and just a tip, guys if you are planning on sourcing for eBay and Amazon, it's a good idea to keep two different boxes in your car one for eBay, one for Amazon, so you don't have to sort it out later. That's resale slugger tip number one. All right, so there we got a little like youth Carhartt jacket. And uh, you know, can't not pick those up. I got that the, the outlet, probably uh, cost a dollar fifty. Right here we got a, a, a jacket that I never heard of before. So it just looked like high quality to me. It looked like a, a really decent jacket to pick up for a dollar. So I just picked it up and we'll see how that goes. Right here we have the sweet Kelly Henson snowboard ski jacket with some really nice quality to it. It's got a packable hood right there. Uh, just looks like it has a really nice liner to it. It's a size extra small, I believe. And it's got a Heli Tech liner. Uh, you know, it's just quality stuff. You can tell, like, once you pick it up, you can feel the weight of it. It just looks like it's probably one of those jackets that, like, a ski resort employee would wear or something like that. You just you can't not pick those suckers up when you get them for two bucks like I did at the outlet. Most of the clothes I got from the outlet, uh, I usually don't do clothes unless it's jackets or boots or shoes. Here we got a Yochik. Yochik. A Yochik. The Joker. <laughs> the Joker, uh... Nuggets shirt, can't, not, can't pass that up when you're a sports fan like I am. That cost me a quarter. Here we got a double pair of 511. If you never bought 511 before, uh, you probably should start looking into it. 511 is one of those brands where a lot of uh, you know employees uh, want some high quality work pants. You know, but they don't want them to be as thick as Carhartt or Dickies. You know, Dickies has, has a thinner liner on most of their pants too but sometimes they go a little bit thick. So 511 has all these cargo pockets, good for holding up above your gear. And uh, you know, if 
you ever go to a store, which I have done one time, I bought me some 511 pants and they were like 60 or $70 for a black pair. I wanted to puke when I saw the price tag, but you know, I couldn't find any others like it at the time. I went to like five or six different stores and I'm getting me some 511. So I got two pairs of those for $2 each. Should sell for about $30 to $40 each. Here we have a Denver, Denver Broncos jacket by Starter. Got the, it's got the uh, quilt and liner inside. It's got some cool little camouflage little buttons there. Size men's large. Den Denver Broncos. Can't go wrong with that. About a $2 pickup. Should get about $35, $40 out of that one. This one actually is much, much better. It's actually a Nike version of it and it's much thicker. Kind of looks like the one that the players wear on the sidelines. Got this weird split hood. That one's a size extra large, my bad. It's a size extra large. It's very heavy. And I see no reason why I can't get around 50 bucks for that one. That one costs about two bucks. Now I'm a Yankees fan, so I think this is a sunny gray uh, shirt. Sonny Gray played for the Yankees. He had kind of a terrible outing with, with the Yankees. Uh, then he just ended up with the, the Rockies, I believe. And uh, I'm not even really sure where he is now, but I, I, you know, I didn't mind Sonny Gray just to do all that great I, I had to pick it up though. You know, right here we got a uh, Eddie Bauer goose down jacket. And I always get goose down stuff. I just can't help my smell. You know, the goose down is quality. No feathers sticking out. You know, I, I just I gotta go with the goose down. It's my thing. If I see goose down, I pick it up. All right. What are we doing here? What happened? All right. So we got a 15k four square kind of snowboard jacket. I picked up a lot of jackets, a lot of boots, as you can tell. But hey, what's that? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's uh, a liner that needs to be uh, zipped back together. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip that back up and get that nice and tight in there, so that no one, uh, you know, yells at me when I chip it out with a with a loose liner in it. But 15k four square. I never really heard of the brand before, but again, it felt like quality. And when you're at the outlet, you should really. Re I recommend that you try new stuff. That way, you learn. You know, I kind of get jacked up when I see something I haven't seen before and it seems like it's quality. You bring it home, you have no idea what it's gonna be worth. I, I would suspect that that one is probably a 30 or $40 jacket. Here we have a wool rich, and it's just kind of a, uh, a medium weight uh, worker's jacket with that uh, kind of sheep, you know, fake sheep lining. It's like, I think a size large men's. And here we got just your normal uh, Polo Ralph Lauren kind of thermal shirt. Here's the size, blue. Yeah. You gotta pick up the bread and butter things too. Can't leave those behind, they'll get mad at you. Here we got some suspender jeans. Now they definitely seem like they're women's, but nowadays you never know. Skinny jeans for men kind of look like women's. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are women's though. So there's Zara brand, Zara jeans. Now, Zara is a very high-end brand. They're in very good condition, and I've never seen any with suspenders, so I grab them. So those were, again, like $2, and I might even shoot for 40 buckaroos on those. 40 buckaroos. And finally, we have here some ski pants. There's the brand. So all in all, I spent about $78.50 today looking to maybe profit around $500. And don't forget your Sony micro cassette recorders, they're still worth some dough.